A welder is hired to fabricate luggage storage compartments in the shape of a pyramid frustum for an aircraft. The height of one compartment is three feet. The bases of the compartment have areas six square feet and 6.5 square feet. The problem is find the cubic foot displacement of the compartment and round your answer to the hundredths place. Well, let's go ahead and highlight some important information in this problem. We're working with a pyramid frustum, aren't we? And uh, let's recall what a pyramid frustum is. It's uh, the base of a pyramid with the top cut off, isn't it? It's got a, a flat square bottom. It's got a flat surface on top. Uh, it's got a dimension or dimensions for height and for, in this case, the, the square footage of the, uh, the two bases. In solving a problem like this, you're generally going to have access to the formula for uh, volume of a complex shape. So let's bring that up. The volume of a, a frustum is one-third the height times the, let's see, b1 plus b2 plus the square root of b1 times b2, when those b values are actually the areas of the bases. Uh, with that, we can start to solve this problem. One of the things I like to do is, is put all my information that I'm going to need in one place here. And so let's just uh, take a moment and we're going to write down our values here for h. What is our height? Our height in the problem is 3 feet. And we're given the areas of our bases here. Uh, base 1 has an area of six square feet, six square feet. And base two has an area of 6.5 square feet. And that's pretty convenient. Um, and so with that, we're ready to plug our values in and solve for volume. So let's go ahead and do that over here. We're going to have our volume is equal to one third. And let's plug in our height for h here. And our height is three. And that's going to be quite convenient because that's just going to uh, multiply to 1, isn't it? 1 third times 3. Uh, we're going to then plug in uh, for B1, 6. For B2, 6.5. And then we have to add the square root of 6 times 6.5. Let's go ahead and just solve that square root because that's a little bit of a tricky one here. Um, we're going to bring that down and 6 times 6.5 turns out to be 39. You'll find that on your calculator. And then the square root of 39, it's kind of a long uh, decimal value. Because in our answer we need to round to the hundredths place, let's take that out to maybe four decimal places. 6.24, if we round up to 5, 0, that'll allow us at the end to round with accuracy to two decimal places. Next step here, let's just bring everything down. Our volume is going to be 1 third times 3, which is just 1. If we add these three numbers, 6 plus 6.5 plus 6.2450, we get 18.7450. One times that is just that, so our volume is equal to 18.7450, and we want to round to the to two decimal places, to the hundredths place. So we're going to look to the right, and we see that's five or greater, so we're going to round that to 18.75, and that is the uh, numeric value of our answer. Let's look and just confirm what our units need to be. In our problem, we are asked to find the cubic foot displacement. So we're looking for, make sure that we're in cubic feet. In our uh, diagram here, we can see that height is measured in feet. So feet right here. And in our two bases, we have uh, feet squared. We have feet in this direction and feet in this direction, which are going to give us feet squared for our two bases. And so feet times feet squared is going to give us cubic feet or feet cubed. And that confirms our units are correct. So our final answer, the cubic foot displacement of the 
pyramid frustum built to these dimensions, it's going to be 18.75 cubic feet. There you have it.